Excuse God, give it up for Gustavo! How's everybody doing? I said this right. Seeing, smelling, feeling, touching. What am I missing? Hair. 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 There we go. That was good. There we go. I forget that one. Whatever. Alright, here we go. This is tips on how to use your senses to cr to avoid getting hit by a bus. Because CTA buses wait for nobody. They got people to go, they got people to take to, to anywhere. Here we go. If you have a Blackberry, if you're poor, if you have a Blackberry, and um, if you happen to be looking down on it on a busy intersection, you have this hearing. You can hear the bus. It goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you hear that, you know, oh, 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 you have to, you have to move your head. Like, oh, oh, bus oh. is coming. All right, all right, all right, Chad. Hi, Chad. All right. If you happen to have your iPod, no Blackberry, iPod. Be jamming to uh, Ario Speedwagon, I'll keep on loving you. You can see the bus because you can physically turn your head. Oh, oh, I see a bus. All right, all right, can I move? All right, my bad to you. All right, and if you happen to smell the bus, because the CTA bus has a certain smell. Diesel mixed with charcoal. <laughs> because CTA likes to kick it old school. <laughs> so, if you, if you smell it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, all right, let's turn around. All right, you, you bad, you, uh -huh, you do it, 35th, you do it. <laughs> Your sense of feeling. This gets tricky because the bus goes 35 to 65 miles an hour on a school zone. So, <laughs> so to, to, do this, to, to do this, you have some sort of thinking involved. So you gotta put your hand out when nobody's looking. And if you feel something, you have like a split second to realize. Bus, ah! Yes! <laughs> you saw that? No? Oh, I can't do it again, because God knows it's a one-time lifetime thing. <laughs> if you happen to taste blood in your mouth, well, ladies and gentlemen, you just got hit by a bus. <laughs> and on top of that, you're that guy you're that bastard who made everyone late for work. Practicing <laughs> <laughs> this. Drug, drug infestations. <laughs> Drive-bys on a bus. I mean, you, you and that guy's plan, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We all have annoying people, right? Annoying people. Some of you want to sock them in the face, but you can't because it's against the law. <laughs> so, my boy Jimmy proposed an idea. Earplugs. And I said, that's already been invented. He said, oh yeah? How about Glock earplugs? You know, built-in guns earplugs? <laughs> See, this is a double standard. If you can't hear them, you live. If you can't hear them, you die. <laughs> so my boy Jimmy tested it out. He put them on. I was over here, about five feet away. Jimmy said, hey, can you hear me? And I said, no, 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 I'm supposed to say that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm nervous, you know. I don't know, somebody's making me nervous. It's okay, man, it's okay. I'm not the one who invented that idea. I feel no remorse. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> that was like crap. <laughs> I have to deliver a eulogy for this guy? Uh, thank you all for coming. Um, for Jimmy, he was a good man. Stupid man. And his last wish was to let me have his Xbox. Thank you. Alright, it's good!